hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to sew a palazzo jumpsuit and it's going to be in a kimono form so the upper part is going to be kimono and the down part is going to be palazzo okay so we'll first cut the upper part before we cut the down part okay and so for the upper part the front part we have um, we have a button at the front part so this one is for the front okay and the up top one is for the back okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to fold um i'll place it equally this way and fold the button side but before i fold it this is how to determine your measurements your back measurement divided into two plus your sleeve length and so this the back measurement i'm using is 14 divided into two that is seven seven plus the sleeve length and so i have the sleeve length i'm using is um nine and a half so i have nine and a half here and so in all i have 16 and a half 16 and a half okay then so that is what you use to fold your fabric that's your fabric weight so 16 and a half times two for front 16 and a half times two for back now for the front part because we are going to add zip i have a zip allowance i have here to be um i have almost four inches it's not up to it's almost four inches but i'll reduce like one inch from it i'll reduce one inch from it so i will be remain with three inches and i'll use it for the zip line okay and so i'm going to fold that part in okay so i'll take that one up I'm going to bring this one down because it's the back and I'm going to bring this one up so this is it now we are going to place a measurement on it neck weight I'm going to use 2.5 2.5 for the neck weight I'm using 2.5 for the neck weight and then the neck deep for front I'm using 2.5 2.5 and I'm going to curve it. So this is it. Okay. Okay, so I am going to draw a shoulder slope. So I'll come here two inches for my shoulder slope and i'm going to join that to the neck width okay the arm width of the person is 12 so 12 meaning six i'll place it at where the shoulder slope is so six but because it's not a fitting dress i'm going to add one to it to make it seven and then i am going to add sewing allowance to make it eight but in all, I'm going to make it eight and a half. Eight and a half, okay. For sewing allowance, okay. So this is it. This is where we are going to place a bust measurement, okay. And so the bust is 32. That is 32 divided by four is going to be eight. Eight plus two inches allowance and that is going to be one to ten plus the allowance is for ease so ten plus one and a half or two inches allowance again and that is going to be one to twelve so twelve here we have twelve here when we come to the waistline, I'm going to place the same top there because we are going to have elastic band, so that place will be guarded a bit. So the same 12 inches at the waistline, okay. So
so i will place it on this bust line here and then come down by one inch and then i'm going to curve it this way to meet the 12 inch down here so this is it just curve it to meet the 12 inch down here so this is it so I'm going to cut this out but before then I'll cut the I will measure the back neck and so with the back neck so I'm going to have a neck width of two and a half a neck width of two and a half and then the neck depth of one inch I'm going to make it one inch okay then I'm going to use this to join it together okay so this is it So I'll bring it out. So this is it. And I need to take this part off. So this is it. As I said, I'm going to take about one inch from the zip line. It's too big. So this is it for the back. This is it for the back. Okay. And this is it for the front. We are going to give it buttons. Okay. So I'll put it aside. Then we'll cut the down part. So the time measurement we're using is 24. And so that's what we use to determine the width of the fabric 24 folded into 2 is going to be 12 and so what i have here is 12.5 okay and so you, you, i hope you can see there's a line here pink line here and that is where my crotch line is and that is 12.5 now how to determine the crotch is your hip divided into four plus three inches three inches because it's a jumpsuit and so this one the hip is 38 divided into 4 and that's going to be 9.5 9.5 plus 3 is going to give us 12.5 so that is how come we have this line and then this is the knee and the knee i measured 22 and so this is it and then the trouser length or uh, the trouser length is um 48 that is the actual length is 42 42 plus the 3 inches I added to the crotch area and that's one two three making 45 plus three inches for folding fold one two three and that's what makes it 48 that's what makes it 48 your dress length so your dress length this one the dress length is 60 then you deduct the half length the half length that I use is 18 the person's half length is 16 but I, I didn't use 16 because the 16 is upper waist. So I just wanted to use the normal waist as the belly button. And that is plus 2 or plus 3, depending on the person. And so I made it 18. That's 18 from C, uh, 60. And that is going to give us 42. 42. So 42, you add the 3 inches for the one you add to the crotch area. And then 3 inches or 2 inches also for sewing allowance or folding okay so this is it now we are going to place our tie measurement which is um 9.5 and i'm going to place it on this line that's this very line 9.5 here so what we have the rest is going to be for our crotch and we have about 2.5 we actually supposed to have two inches so I'm going to work with two inches because 
I don't want to have too much foldings at the crotch area. Okay, I am going to place the same 9.5 at the waist area. The same 9.5 there. Okay. okay, so from here, I'm going to join it to this line, the waistline, from this to the waistline. And I'm going to measure three inches up here and draw my crotch. Okay, line. So this is it. Okay. So when we come to the knee area, it's going to be the same measurement. I am not going to uh, make it tight because it's palazzo. So what I'll do is, in order to shape it a bit, I'm going to take one inch from it. And so that one inch, this place is um, twenty. This place is twelve and a half. And so I'm going to mark half inch here or half uh, 0.75 here I'll mark 0.75 here then I'll come here also and mark 0.75 just taking something few from it and just to get some shape in it a bit and so I'm going to have level with um, 22 okay so I will use this to join it from the crotch area okay there will be no waist measurement here because the place is going to be guarded and so i'm not going to measure any waist and cut it that is okay it's going to be a bit guardless okay so to take the same measurement at the knee area that's 11 also straight to the down here and so i'm going to determine 11 here that's 5.5 at the down here i have a middle line here I've, I've divided this into two so i have a middle line there so that's 5.5 and that's 11 here mm -hmm. this is palazzo um, okay Okay, and I'm going to mark this area a bit. Okay, so I'm going to cut these ones off. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the back one and then cut it. So I've placed it on the back one. The back one too is folded into two. Then you have to add the same measurement for the front one, but you add three inches to the width. And so this one, instead of 12.5, I have, um, I even have 16 here. And so that is it for the back. Okay, so up here, the back is supposed to be longer than the upper part is supposed to be longer than the front part and so the up here i'm going to add about one and a half i'm going to add one and a half inch to eight one and a half and i'm going to add one inch here and so one inch here too okay i'm going to add the one inch also just join Then at the crotch area here, I'm going to add three inches to it. Okay. Then I'm going to join it to the one inch here. So this is it. Then I am going to join the one and a half here to the to 
the waistline here okay okay so this is it then this place from the knee down i'm going to add two inches to it two inches i'll add two inches all through and that two inches is going to serve us allowance for sewing okay Okay, so this is it for our front and back. I'm going to put the back aside and cut pocket for the front. Okay, so after this one is taking this. And then this one will take the other one. The other one is going to turn this way. Then turn this way. And that is it. So what I'll do is I'm going to attach the pocket. So I'm going to sew on this line, attach it. And then after I'll open up and give it a top stitch. So I'll do for both. Then I'll also do the crotch area for the front. So if you want to know how to do the crotch area, attach zip to the front of a trouser, I'll leave the link in the description box for you to see. If you want to know how to make the uh, pockets, so I'll leave the link for you to watch. So I'll do that.